I will be doing the proximal carpal mobilization. So for this mob, um, you are going to want to assess the proximal carpal bones um, and you may want to use this if somebody is limited with flexion or extension or radial deviation or ulnar deviation. Um, so for this mob, you're going to have one hand um, kind of on the uh, radius and ulna, kind of supporting those bones. Um, and then you're going to have your other hand across the proximal carpal bones. So we can, you want to test them first just to see their range of motion um, in flexion and extension. He's pretty good in extension, uh, maybe a little bit limited in flexion. So for this mob, you're going to have your arm one hand here, the other hand across the carpal bones. You're going to apply a distraction force and then an upward force with this hand um, to kind of gain some flexion of those proximal carpal bones. And then you can also assess radial and ulnar deviation with individual carpal bones. So for instance, the scaphoid, um, which is just proximal to the thumb, kind of in that um, anatomical snuff box, you can get on that and then assess them in kind of radial deviation, ulnar deviation, um, and if that, that will help it kind of to mobilize a little bit and you can gain some radial deviation or ulnar deviation.